Fulani headsmen on the run as Abia youth chase them out of the community. Residents of Ohalfia community in Abia state has been captured on camera marching around the domain in search of Fulani headsmen to chase them away from their space. Doris Jokes would like you to know that Ohalfia is a town in the Ohalfia local government area in Abia State, Nigeria. It is an Igbo speaking region. The community witnessed first attack from Fulani headsmen on June 10, 2013. And since then, series of attacks from suspected headsmen has been recorded. Today, Torixos was presented with a video showing the moment hundreds of Ohofia warriors were heading to defend their land against Fulani headsmen and other criminal gangs in the locality. In the video shared on Torixos' Instagram page, the Ohofia warriors were seen armed while walking around the community in search of terror. Thank you for listening to this news. What else, my viewers? What else do you expect? Of course, this is how it used to happen in other states. The Fulanis, they don't get tired. They don't get tired of invading into people's land illegally. They don't get tired. When you chase them in one place, you see them going to another place. They don't get tired. And the painful part of it is that the, the government of that state, has, despite knowing what the indigents are going through from the hand of this, of this group, of these people, instead of them to take it up and make sure that they are totally chased out of the community, they will just keep calm, pretending they know nothing that is happening in the in the states. I'm not surprised that this is happening in Abia. I'm not surprised because the governor himself, to, together with um, the governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodima, they work hand in hand. I don't know what to call them any longer. If I should call them Fulani, Fulanese, because the, the, the way the way they are they are behaving to the indigents the way they are behaving to them they don't behave to the indigents as if as if they are truly they are they, as if they are truly uh their governor these are the people that elected them these are the people that chose them as their governor these are the people that elected them that fixed them on that seat, yet they can't even do anything, anything to help secure, secure their, 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 their freedom in their own state. You can imagine, people, people will be in their states. They will be sleeping with their eyes, with their two eyes open. Is it supposed to be like that? How can you be sleeping with your two eyes open in your own state? You are walking on the streets. You are walking with fear. It shows that the state is not safe. Such kind of state, it, it, if, it's, if, if possible, that kind of state can be declared a state of emergency. Yeah. Because this Fulani Others, to me, they have eaten more than they can chew. If you decide to take it up to the president, believe you me, you are causing more harm to yourself. Because even the president will even make the case to be, to, to be worse. Because he is the president of the Mieti Anla Cattle Breeders Association of, Niger of Nigeria. So as their president... He will never want to be against his people. He will never. For example now, 
Almost all the international country in the world has tagged these Fulani headers a terrorist group. They have been tagged and declared. Only Nigeria is finding it difficult to declare them a terrorist group. Why? Reason is not far-fetched. Reason being that the president of this country is a Fulani man. So tagging them a terrorist group means that we have a terrorist president. Why won't they be tagged a terrorist group when they keep killing people in cold blood, brutalizing, raping, kidnapping, committing all sorts of atrocities? What's so different from them and the Boko people? What's so different from them and the bandits? They are terrorists. Day after day, they keep committing acts, different kind of crimes, unbelievable crimes. And the president will be there, will fold his hands, watching. Watching, doing nothing about it. My viewers, it's hard time that every state start doing something concerning this situation. And that is the reason why it is advisable that every state should come up with their own security outfits. I laugh. I laugh when I heard Mieti Allah Kato, uh, Kato Hall coming up with a, with, a, 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 with a national security outfit. Who sent them? Who sent them? Who advised them to go on, to go on with that kind of setup? They have a plan. We, they have a plan. They have seen the possibility of, of, of the Southeastern dismissing the, the, the Fulanese completely out of Southeast. So they have to come up with, with a plan. So I don't blame the governor of, of Benue State for rejecting that 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 security outfit in Benue State, and I want to encourage all that Southeast State to do the same. They should do the same, because no one have sent them to set up a national security outfit for what? For what? Did did the Southeastern Easterners told them that they don't have eligible men to 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 um to be appointed? As, as securities of the state? Did they? Did they complain to them? Did they? Even their own security outfit cannot be compared to the security outfit set up in the Southeast. The Southeast has everything that, 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 is, that, that can help secure the life and properties of the, of the, of the indigents. So who has sent them to set up a national security outfit? Who have sent them? This is one of their tricks. You know these Northerners, they are very, very trickish, though they are not learned. They are not learned. They never, they never went to school. But they know politics. And they know how to play it. And that is why if you want to play it with them, you need to be wise. You need to be wise. Okay, look at the Biafrans are uh, the Biafrans are requesting for, for 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 freedom because the Biafrans are requesting for freedom. The 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 um the the Yorubas are now requesting for Odudua Republic. Now, what is the Northerners requesting for? They are requesting for one Nigeria. Have you asked yourself why? Why is because they cannot stand alone. They cannot stand alone. If they do, poverty will become their own. They only have one, one, one means of livelihood, and that is agriculture. And after that, what else? What else? You understand what I'm saying? What else? So that is why they never wanted or want the Igbos to even leave. Because they know what they are getting 
as since the eagles are still with them. Yet, they have refused to behave themselves. My viewers, please, you really need to come into this matter. What's your take on this news? Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.